on Wednesday before nine o'clock. You know Sylvia? Yeah. Good. You know nine o'clock? <laughs> Good. So give it to Sylvia before nine o'clock on Wednesday. You know Wednesday? Good. <laughs> what? What's on Wednesday? Maths assignment. Wednesday before nine a.m. Why? <laughs> to Sylvia. No. Give it to Sylvia. Printed copy. Printed. Printed. <laughs> Great. Next topic. No. Yes. Oh yes, we're ready. Oh, it's so difficult. I understand. No, I know you. You have no idea. I so understand. Yeah. Yes. No. 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 Ah. Yes. 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 Oh. Yes. Pretty sure, good, yes. Have I right, you got this? No. What? <laughs> it's okay. Right, so first thing, potential difference PD is just another name for voltage, although it's more common than voltage, but it's the same thing. More common than voltage? Yeah, nowadays. Right, um, now, this next definition is quite long. Electromotive force, also called EMF. It's the voltage in a battery, basically. Basically, that's it. It's the battery voltage. Um, but it goes on, and it gets complicated, and oh. complicated. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, this is a very long definition. I don't expect you to remember it in the exam. But if you can remember just one thing, remember this. The EMF is the voltage in the battery. The battery voltage. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Uh, you have no idea.
remember this prayer. It's been a long time that I've sung this verse. Yes. Oh, Carrere. Oh, Carrere, where is your paper? Uh, you I came to school with no I paper. Seen, I seem to have yeah. Got your homework. <laughs> yeah, but it was me. I was on this last night. Oh, all right. Yeah. I guess that's a good reason. <laughs> yes. On the street? <laughs> Under a bridge. How bad? How bad was it? It's good. It wasn't. Oh, it was good. It wasn't too bad. No, no, it was good. Okay. No, that was like mild. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Right. Do we have this? No. Get off the phone, KJ. Get off the phone. Yes? No. Yes? No. I see Tekken's writing as well. Nearly? Too much English, too much English. That's long. So what's the difference between EMF and voltage? EMF is the voltage of the battery. Yep. And so what's voltage then? <laughs> so, uh, for example, if I have an EMF of one volt, that means each coulomb of charge is given one joule of energy by the battery. Whereas a voltage of one volt means between two points, each coulomb could do one joule of work. So let me just uh, draw that, make it a little bit clearer. So if I have a battery here, and this is a P voltage is one volt, what that means is when I have one coulomb and it goes in, it gets one joule of energy. Um, but if I have like a resistor, and here is one volt again. What that means is when one coulomb goes through, it could do one joule of work. So in other words, it's like EMF gives voltage and voltage or potential different just uses voltage. In other words, EMF is what gave the charge its voltage at the beginning. It's the source. So just maybe to make that clear, I'll just write down here. EMF gives and potential different voltage takes. But they're the same thing, you use volts. Okay, can I go back? No. Yeah. One you way to the office since uh, the Oh no, not doing your dirty work. You tell her. And good luck with that. 
And try not to lose your thousands of euros on the way back, okay? Or try not to be mugged or anything like this. Yes. And don't, for goodness sake, don't be late for Lorraine. <laughs> All right, uh, can I go back? Yeah. Yes? What? Uh, okay, can I go back? Yep. All right. So basically, EMF gives a charge. Okay. So this circuit here, um, I'll draw it again over here. It's a very important circuit. So let me draw something here. This is my battery. Beautiful, big battery, yeah. It is quite beautiful. Now, uh, when you look at your battery, it's a bit like this. It has cells in it, yeah. But also it has a very small resistor in it. And this is something you don't want, but you can't avoid it. It's always here. You don't want it, but it must be there. Now, why is this? Yeah, you see, you can't take it out because it's not really inside of it. What I mean is, it's like, um, yeah. No, 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 this is a great photo. It's great. So, when your battery is on, this feels a little bit warm. Yeah. Like when you think about your laptop, your computer, yeah. the battery gets warm. Now you don't want this because this is wasted energy. You don't want heat. You only want the energy here to go here. This heat is wasted. What makes this heat is that small resistor. Now this here is only a picture in my mind there's not really a small resistor inside of it. It's like there's a small resistor inside of it. So you were joking, KJ or Karai, you were saying, why don't you just take it out? If you could, yes, but you can't. It's not really inside of it. It's like it's inside of it. It's uh, an understanding, an idea that there's uh, energy and then there's a small resistor that wastes the energy, that makes the heat. But it's not really there. It's not physically there. It's like it's there. It's not there. It's like it's there. If that makes sense. So you just have to imagine it. Why imagine it. Yeah. Why is it warm? Because it's like <laughs> there's a small <laughs> resistor. Um, <laughs> this, uh, you know the way sometimes in physics you make a simple picture of something very difficult. So the, this is a simple picture, yes. If you were to really look at what's happening here, it's very complicated, very complicated, okay? This is a simple picture of what's happening. Too simple, but it is very simple, true. So this is a very simple picture of what's happening. Okay? This here, what you don't want, is called the internal resistance. Internal meaning inside. Yep, that's it. Your English teacher would be so proud of you. <laughs> okay, now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to put a ammeter here and put a resistor here, which I can change.
and uh, just some more vocabulary, the green part of the battery, the top and the bottom, they're called the terminals of the battery, the battery terminals, like an airport, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because it goes in and it goes out. So here, this is, um, this is arrivals, and then this is departures. You know, you know arrivals and departures at the airport? At the airport, <laughs> my goodness, you all are at the airport, yes? Yeah. So uh, what do you call the flight you take back home? Departure. departure. And the flight to come to Ireland? Arrival. <laughs> Arrival. Ah. Arrival and departures. Um, so it, this is called the, you know, the terminals. So this is like the arrival. And then this one here is like the departure. Departure call. Exit. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. I just thought because you all use the airport, you would know <laughs> these words. Arrivals and departures. I'm shocked that you don't know these words. <laughs> and I use the port. You, know, you take the ferry, do you? Well, I think there's still arrivals and departures at the ferry as well. <laughs> okay. Now, look, hey, look. So what I'm going to do is, um, what you'd normally do here is you put a voltmeter at the terminals. So there's a voltmeter here. Now, please note, please note, that is the same as putting the voltmeter here. Now you might think, how could that be the same? That's putting it down here. Well, look. You see here, the current starts here. Yes? And goes along 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 and ends here. So your voltmeter would tell you the voltage from the start to the end. So it's the same as having the voltmeter here where this is the start and this is the end. So when you put the voltmeter on the battery, it's like putting it down here on the resistor as well. So that's worth noticing. That although the V is at the top, this is actually the voltage here. Got that? No, it's not actually. Uh, watch this. How about this? Okay. So I put the resistor here. So here's my voltmeter. Will this be the same as if I put it here? Would that be the same? Yeah, it'd be the same. There's no difference between this one and this one because it's still one resistor. Yeah? What about if I put it like here? It's the same. What about if I put it here? Same. And what about if I put it here? It's still the same as this. Yeah? Yeah, hang on, let me see. Yep. What's not different? The V is not equal, but if I have a resistor here, this V is the same as this V. Yeah. It's the same as this V. But they are two uh, Ah, no. This one here is not included from here to here. This voltmeter starts here and looks at this part mm -hmm. and ends here. This one is not included in this measurement. That's why it's the same. You're right. If this was included, then yes, this would be different. But here it's not included. Just the line. Just this one. So the voltage here is the same as the voltage here. Okay. Right, good. Okay, let's um let's use 
Kurt Schock's rule here. And we'll start with the voltage, the EMF in the battery. So we have E minus this one, I or, minus, and then there's this one here. What's that one? I big R. Yes, which rule is this? Junction or loop? What? What? Loop, that's right. Equal zero. So do you see the loop I took? I started here and went around like this. Well, there's only one loop. So you get this formula. Formula one. Okay. Now, the second formula is much, much more important. You need to remember that V equals I or. So, this V here is equal to I or. If I put that in here, I get EMF minus I or minus V equals zero. So, I get V equals minus I or plus E. So I get V equals minus or times I plus E. Very, very important. Now the reason this is so important is if you were to draw a graph where you put I here and V here, can you measure the I? Yes you can because look, you can measure it right here. So you can know the I. Can you measure the V? Yes you can, right here. But if you look at this formula, yeah the minus or it's like um, minus mx plus c. You'll get this type of graph. And what will the slope of this equal? Minus, minus or. And this value here? That will be the e. Plus two. Yeah. Plus the huh? Then. Remember. Now this formula and this graph is really important. The reason it's really important is because you can't, I look up, when you teach yourself the reason it's very important, yeah. you should look up. Yeah. You cannot open this. You can't open this. But by using this graph, you can know what the or inside is. And you can know what the voltage, the E voltage is. So you can know the EMF, the voltage, and the internal resistance. Okay? Um, that's why this formula and this graph is so important. It means you don't need to open this to know this. Let's have a look at an example then. Yeah, you need to write this down. Continue. So we have this formula by the loop rule, which means we have this formula and uh, this formula, which I, we already did. You wrote down the formulas here? This is formula two. You got this? You wrote this down? Yes? Yeah, sure. Two formulas, yeah. Number one, number two. And this is the very important one. So important it gets four exclamation marks. You got those two? Please say yes. You have these? No. Great. Right. Let's have a look at an example. 
Yeah, so like I said, the reason this is important is because you can use this formula and the graph to calculate the voltage, the EMF, and the internal resistance. Even though it's hidden, we can still find it. So let's have a look at a question. Uh, so we'll just have one example, it's all you need. So what I've done is I've made the circuit and I've measured the voltage and the current. So please note this table, voltage and current. Okay, you got them? No, sorry. Out. Uh, so, let's put current in amps and potential difference in volts. So, what's my first current? 1.0 and then next? 0 0.9. Is that right? And then what's my first voltage? 1.0. One is first, yes. Wait, what's the first one? 1.0. 1. 1. And the second one is. And then. Okay, so let's make the graph here. Finding internal resistance. Uh, X axis is the current in amps, and the Y axis is the potential difference in volts. So, this is the graph you get. As we talk, it's going down. Um, so what do you think the EMF is? It looks like it should go up to 2, doesn't it? Yeah. Here, I'll make this graph a little bit bigger for you. Wow. 
what happened? It was so nice a moment ago. Oh well, that's life. There we go. All right, so if you look at this graph, what would you say the intercept is? It looks like it's about two. So if you look at this graph, you could say that you have this equals two. Now what about the slope? Well, the slope looks like it'd be about, it looks like the slope would be minus one. What do you think? Yeah, because this here would be uh, 0 0.9 over 0 0.9. If you draw this on graph paper, this is 0 0.9 and this is 0 0.9. So the slope, the gradient is minus 1. So you have minus 1 equals minus or, so then or equals 1. So this is what my battery looks like. My battery is like this. The E is two volts and the internal resistance is one ohm. That's for the voltage and then that's for the internal resistance. Example I need to do. Yeah. Did you write this down? Yes. Yeah. Can I go back to the slides? Grace? Mm, yes. Yeah. So um, I give you something similar, except there's a couple of more questions on it, but it's the same idea. Same circuit, okay? And um, so the good news is there's only one lesson left on electricity. Yeah, so then we'll finish electricity tomorrow uh, and then we'll start the last section for this semester. And the other good news is the last section is also the smallest. About waves. Yep, you know waves? Waves. Yep, waves. Yes? What's that about? Uh, you know, like sound, light, you know, yeah, all right.